Hello everyone, my name is Shivam Kumar. Welcome back to our channel Salesforce Scenarios. So guys, today we'll be discussing about the fourth video of this particular Salesforce Flow series in which we'll be taking care of how to add screen flow on record page and pass record ID to our flow. So yes, agenda for today session is the same that we are creating one screen flow and we'll be adding that screen flow to the record page and pass the record id to that particular flow so that we can be able to create the record according to that screen flow okay so scenario for today is we'll create a contact with the help of screen flow today because that will be a very basic and easy concept to create and we'll add that flow to account record page and pass the account id to the flow so let's get started i'll be jumping into my salesforce org i'll be going to flows there it is already open right now so i'll be hitting on new creating one screen flow right from there hitting on next how do you want to start building i'll be taking free form so this is my screen flow canvas so for that what what i need to do is that i need to fetch one screen because i'll be creating one screen flow label for contact from account i'll be saying contact from account this is the label now I'll be adding fields let's say I'll be taking one text field to add the first name label will be first name adding again one more text label will be last name okay adding let's say email component label will be email I'll be adding again one component with the name phone label will be phone adding one more component as text and I'll be naming that particular component as department okay it is the field present in contact right now I have first name last name email department phone right so what I'll be doing is that I'll be removing pause button here going to configuration footer hiding previous as well as hiding pause button because we need to create only one screen okay so guys this is the particular screen which i have created for adding the information which i need to add okay so i'll be hitting on done right as you all know that our scenario is to add that particular screen flow to a record page right so i'll be going to manager creating the new resource i need to create one variable and the api name of variable will be record id right i'll be using that record id data type will be text okay and one more important thing is that availability outside the flow i need to use that as available for input because if we use that as available for input then it will come when we are adding that particular flow to the record page okay 
I'll be waiting on done. My record ID is also been created there. Going to the elements, adding one more screen. But for that, only for contact, I need one screen. So I'll be not adding another screen. Okay. What I'll be doing is that I'll be taking the data, create records. Create contact. Use separate resources and laterals. Object will be contact. Mapping the fields. First name to the screen component. First name, last name to the screen component last name there also from screen component form in which I'll be taking phone dot value right I'll be adding again one more field that is email mapping the value again that is email and taking as email dot value okay right there is one more field which i have created that is department mapping that field with the department okay value with record id so now there is nothing in this record ID. So what we need to do is that why I'm adding this account ID is to associate this particular contact with the account. And we'll be taking this record ID at the runtime when we are hitting on save record button when we are creating the contact from the account, okay? I'll be hitting on done. So my both one screen is created and create record is Saving my flow, create contact, adding on save, I'll be activating my flow. So <clears throat> what I need to do next step is that I need to go to accounts. Open one account. Going to this gear icon, edit page because I need to add this on the record page, right? Taking the flow component from here, dragging and dropping the flow activity charter. Create contact as a flow name. There is one checkbox there, pass record ID into this variable. I need to check that. So automatically record ID will come there. Okay. So I'll be on save. My changes are saved. I'll be going back from the lightning app builder. So automatically my flow will be there. Okay. So I'll be adding first name as Ame last name is raghav email will be ame at the red gmail.com department will be manager phone will be this i'll be hitting on next so automatically my contact is created and you see that this is the account edge communication and contact is created that is Ameraga. if I go to this contact 
go to the details so automatically account name is associated because when I was adding the account ID and mapping that with record ID I already told you guys that yes we need to have that for the runtime purpose because it is taking the ID automatically whenever we have added that flow on the record page of a particular account right so what all information we have added there automatically we have everything there right so that's it so this is the scenario which we need to create so thank you very much guys for your support for your love i'll be adding more videos on salesforce clean flow topics and after that whenever i'm covering this particular topic we'll be having one small project which we can build with the help of screen flaws only we are not taking any other flow components there in that particular project okay so thank you very much